What's going on all you JoJo fans out there? My name is Ethanime and I'm reporting about an update on my JoJo journey. Hello everyone who's been keeping up with my JoJo journey, and hello to those who are new. A few months ago, I decided to watch JoJo Bizarre's Adventure, and so far it's been a roller coaster of emotions. My last update was when I finished part 2 about 2 weeks ago, and now I have another update. I've just finished part 3, and I got some opinions on it. Before we dive deep into today's video, if you guys enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you guys can keep up to date with all my new anime related content. Also in about a month, I'm going to be start doing Twitch streams on the side. Stay tuned for new info on that bizarre adventure. Warning, there are spoilers for part 1 to 3 in this video. Now let's jump into this. The best way for you guys to understand my JoJo journey so far is to go all the way back to the beginning. Starting back about some weeks ago, I finished part 1 and I thought Jonathan was the best JoJo out there. And his death shocked me so much. His death shocked me so much that I claimed there was no better Jojo out there and no future Jojos could ever top Jonathan. But was I ever so blind? I then finished part 2 about 2 weeks later and Joseph took that spot in my heart. I enjoyed part 2 way more than part 1 and I thought it was really great. For perspective I gave part 1 a 7, part 2 an 8, and I'll let you guys know what I gave part 3 later on in this video. When I finished part 2 and realized another Jojo was going to replace Joseph, my Joseph was devastated. But when I found out Joseph was staying around, I was happy. And then began my part 3 binge. My initial thoughts on starting part 3 weren't the greatest. Although my opinion changed heavily later on, I initially hated the stands and thought it made the show just seem like a basic battle shonen. Pacing of non-stop battles annoyed me a little bit. It made me just think that the enemies were just like non-memorable. They just non it can instantly die, last less than an episode. Even to this day, I cannot remember much of them. I wasn't a huge fan of Jotaro as first, as I felt he just didn't really have a personality. And I hated on every new Jobro that joined the group because I was just butthurt that Joseph was old and weak. But by the end of the first half, I took a liking to Kakyoin and Jotaro, but I still constantly hated on Polnareff, and I was still an avid Joseph lover. Alright, now the second half is where my opinions changed. By now I thought stands were pretty cool. I understand Haman would not have worked anymore, and it would have definitely gotten boring by now. I liked the enemies in the second half way more. All the episodes were two parts now, so it actually had some depth to the fights. They felt longer. I remembered a lot of the enemies and their stands from that from the second half. And it felt like all the Joe Bros were actually putting their lives at stake this time. FY Darby the Gambler for some reason, was one of the best fights that season. Not counting Dio. My only complaint about the second half is how long it took. It took them one season to get to Egypt from Japan, and another whole season just across Egypt. But by the time it came to Dio's lair, I ended up liking all the characters, and I was praying they wouldn't die. Then battle in the mansion was by far the best part of part 3. All the shit I had to go through really paid off in the end. Every death was sad, and Every time someone died, I regretted every time I hated on them. And the battle with Dio was freaking awesome. The battle with Dio is where I really started to notice that Jotaro was badass, and I started liking him a lot more. The 6th episode fight was awesome. The time stopping was awesome. It seems every part of Jojo I watch, it just gets more bizarre and beats my expectations. At the end though, I did wish that Kakyoin survived and Polner have died. But I think either death would have been just as sad. Jojo nonstop seems to surprise me. Every part completely changes the show's feel and it just makes the show feel brand new. For now, I'm doing part 3 and 9, but that might change once I finish part 4. I started watching part 4 a few days ago, I went up to like 6 or 5, it's so good. I'm hoping part 4 keeps it going at this pace, because right now it's slow, the enemies actually feel like they're real enemies, whereas part 3 just felt a little bit too drawn out and the enemies just non-stop piling and piling and piling it was pretty much just a regular jump battle manga fuck regular jump shonen battle oh my god too much battling joseph is still my favorite jojo jodoro is coming in a close second 
and Jonathan has been forgotten. I'm really looking forward to finishing part four. I would say part two and part three are both great in their own separate ways. Well, part one was just trash in comparison. That's mostly all my thoughts for part three. I'm really excited for part four and I'll keep you guys updated once I finish it and another video when I'm done part five. Check out my Twitter in the description and send me Jojo memes. This was Athanime and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Give me a little